but cars get a full warrant of fitness every six months or annually. For most of us, that's more time and effort than we spend on our own health. Specsavers is encouraging Kiwis to prioritise their health. Joining us in Weekend Wellness today is Philip Walsh, Specsavers optometrist. Good morning, Philip. Good morning. Nice Lovely to, to have you back on the show. Thank you very much. Um, so, what should we be doing better then? Well, I think in terms of um, eye health, or general health, I mean, it's interesting, a warrant of fitness analogy is a good one, mm. okay, because even though a warrant of fitness, of course, is legally required for your car, it's not required for your general health. No. But is as important, or probably more important. You know? So what I like to think is that um, New Zealanders probably need to be more proactive around their um, general health and having regular checkups. I think it helps med medical practitioners to... Um, prevent or detect diseases that may well become more serious issues later on. Particularly, I think, with your eyes. Yeah. Um, I think you need to be proactive. We want people to be proactively making eye um, health or eye examination appointments. Okay, and I think that um, it's kind of interesting that I think in the last couple of years, more than a million New Zealanders have not had an eye test. Seriously? Mm. So we're really bad at getting yeah, our eyes tested? Yeah, we are. And I mean, it's a real cliche, but I think that the, the science agrees that prevention is better than cure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, how many, so how often should we be getting our eyes checked? Most optometrists would say to you probably every couple of years. I think that's sensible. It's not just about your glasses, though. Mm. Okay, so it's about not about spectacles or updating your glasses, but it's also about your eye health. Right, okay? so what's involved with that? Yeah, well, there are conditions that can easily go undetected, you know, macular degeneration, glaucoma, which have a hereditary component as well, okay, and often you'll find that by the time people have come along for their eye test and notice symptoms, that some damage has already been done. Because usually yeah. we only go for an eye test, uh, many people, when they go suddenly, oh, I can't read that sign over there. Oh, uh, yes, exactly. Which yeah. is not what we should be doing. Well, I think if you do it every couple of years, then you know if things are changing. Okay. I think that's a sensible thing so to do. So vision problems our parents have too, they could be a clue to what's going to go on with us or mm. something that to what our optometrist needs to look at? So uh, hereditary issues, um, specific, specifically around eyes, I think you'd talk about things like short-sightedness or myopia, which tends to have a familial sort of trait in it. Glaucoma, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. macular degeneration, all have an hereditary component to them. So it is important, okay, that you know your family history. And in fact, I think your general family history, okay, and diabetes would be a classic example of that, because that right. type 2 diabetes does tend to run in families. So um, if there's one thing I get your viewers to do, it would be to speak to their family about family history health issues. Exactly, see what Nana had and see what was going yeah, on with Nana. Yeah. Short sightedness is when you can't see things in the distance, exactly, is it? That's and right. long sightedness yeah. is the reverse. Sort of the reverse. Yeah, yes. sort of the yeah, reverse. Yeah. When, you, when you get yeah. to that age where you can't read properly. Well, yeah, that's there. <laughs> Everyone gets that. You know, okay, we I'm can't not there escape yet. it. I'm not yeah, there yet, but yeah. I can't see things in the distance. I'm a little bit short sighted. So, what about an up to date prescription that can actually slow down the advance of vision problems? It's a very interesting question because it's one I get asked a lot mm. by patients, you know. Um, I think it's important to separate out eye health and glasses, though. Now, just because you need to wear specs or you need to get your spectacles updated, that doesn't mean your eyes are unhealthy. Okay. okay? But research certainly shows with kids particularly who are getting more short-sighted, then what you tend to find is that keeping their prescription up to date might slow down the progression. And, of course, people that get their eyes checked regularly tend to be aware of any sudden changes. Or something's okay. going on. So they'll come to the optometrist sooner and then we get a better mm. chance probably to also to, to, to take some action that means you get a more positive outcome. Mm. Yeah. So getting the latest frames isn't going to really improve my eye health, but it's going to no, make me it feel makes awesome. You look great, of course. Uh, yeah. So what else yeah. should we put on our tick list then for our health warrant of fitness? Well, eye examinations, prioritise of course. I think visits to the GP mm. and visits to the dentist. And I mean, start with yourself is what I would say, you know, and then um, think about your family members, particularly your children, because remember that, you know, GP visits are free for kids, you know, so start them off early. Yeah. Um, dental checks are free for kids as well. And Specsavers does free eye tests for kids under 16 as well. So okay. everybody kind of has access to get their kids in the good yeah. habits, you know. Okay. Yeah. That sounds like a very good idea. Mm. I might have to come and uh, book myself in for another test. It'll be good to see you. It's probably yeah, been yeah. about that. And I think yeah. I'm about a year. I should be okay. Yeah. Great advice. All Thank right. you very much. Always a pleasure to have you yeah. here. Thank you. And we have a fantastic giveaway too. Go to our Facebook page to win a Specsavers voucher for two pairs of designer glasses valued at up to $900.